Hi, I'm Vasilia Bastis, a PGY4 Obstetrics and Gynecology resident at McMaster University. Thank you for allowing me to present our project entitled How Are Canadian Cannabis Dispensaries Counseling Breastfeeding Consumers? I would like to give a special thanks to my colleagues listed here below, as well as Dr. Shea for being the supervisor on this project. We will start with an introduction of the study, discuss the objectives, methods, and conclude with our results. Cannabis use in Canada has increased since its legalization in 2018. Among women specifically, the prevalence has increased from 11.1% in 2017 to 14% in 2019. As cannabis use increases, the number of dispensaries in Canada has grown exponentially from an estimated 217 dispensaries in March of 2019 to more than 1,000 in July of 2020. Although each province has set their own educational programming required for dispensary employees, it is important to understand what information breastfeeding women may be obtaining when seeking advice regarding cannabis products. Recent literature has shown that 2.6% of lactating women in Canada report using cannabis. In the states that have legalized cannabis, preconception and postpartum cannabis use has increased. This use is concerning as it has been shown that THC accumulates in breast milk and may be detected up to six days following cannabis use. The long-term implications of exposure to cannabis in breastfed infants has not been well studied. There are some reports that exposure through breast milk may negatively influence motor development of the exposed offspring. Many governing bodies, including the SOGC and the American Academy of Pediatrics, do not recommend that women use cannabis when pregnant or while breastfeeding. Previous studies have explored recommendations that employees from cannabis dispensaries have provided to pregnant women. An important study done in a state with legalized recreational cannabis, Colorado, reported that only 30% of employees from dispensaries recommended against a cannabis product. In comparison, a recent Canadian study that the same group actually conducted noted that 93% of dispensary employees recommended against cannabis use while pregnant. What has not yet been explored, however, are recommendations that dispensary employees are providing to breastfeeding women. The objectives of the study were to 1. Identify the proportion of employees from recreational cannabis dispensaries in Canada that recommended cannabis products for relaxation to breastfeeding customers seeking advice, 2. To characterize the recommendation given, and 3. To identify if customers were referred to a healthcare provider for further information. This was a cross-sectional study of licensed recreational Canadian cannabis dispensaries. The target population consisted of all licensed dispensaries in Canada as of November 2020. The list of dispensaries was collected through provincial specific websites, and a total of 797 recreational dispensaries were identified at the time of the study. Dispensaries were contacted from November 2020 until January 2021 using a mystery caller approach. Four investigators contacted all licensed dispensaries using a script in which the caller stated they were breastfeeding looking for a natural product for relaxation. Each dispensary was contacted a maximum of three times during listed business hours. If all attempts were unsuccessful, the dispensary was labeled as unavailable. If no phone number was listed, or if the number was not in service, the dispensary was also listed as unavailable. The calls were transcribed onto electronic data sheets and recordings were made if transcription was unable to be completed in real time due to speed of the conversation. All recordings were deleted at completion of data collection. All dispensaries will be notified of involvement in the study through mail. The primary outcome was the recommendation of a cannabis product for relaxation by the dispensary employee. Secondary outcomes included stated benefits of cannabis while breastfeeding, recommended discussion with a healthcare provider, length of the telephone call, rationale for product recommended, and reported source of information on which the recommendation was based. Now moving on to our results. The investigators contacted the 797 licensed recreational cannabis dispensaries in Canada from November 2020 to January 2021, and 714 answered. The average length of the conversation was 70 seconds, and employees in Ontario spoke for the longest with an average of 165 seconds. We found that 79.4% of employees recommended against the use of cannabis products while breastfeeding. In Quebec, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island, 100% of dispensary employees recommended against cannabis use while breastfeeding. The largest proportion of the listed licensed dispensaries were in Alberta and Ontario. In Alberta, 26.5% of dispensary employees recommended a cannabis product, while 16.9% Ontario dispensary employees did. When a dispensary employee recommended a product, 80% did not specify a reason for the recommendation, 
rarely the employee would recommend a cannabis product based on research, which was about 2%, and 17.6% of recommendations were based on the employee's opinion. CBD products were most commonly recommended, while THC products were either recommended against or infrequently. Specifically, CBD products were recommended alone in 55% of cases. CBD or THC products were recommended in 22% of cases, with 13 of these cases recommending a small amount of THC to improve the effect of CBD. Only 0.8% of dispensary employees explicitly mentioned harm to the infant from cannabis, and none mentioned possible harm to the caller. Of the dispensary employees that were contacted, only 3.3% stated that cannabis was safe while breastfeeding, and one dispensary employee stated that cannabis was beneficial to the infant. Finally, 76.4% of dispensary employees recommended speaking to a health care provider without the caller prompting the employee. The main limitation of the study is that the information collected is representative of one employee for that specific dispensary, which leads to, to the potential of bias based on personal opinion and may differ from that of the company policy. An additional limitation is that some dispensary employees did not make recommendations as age of the caller could not be confirmed via telephone. Given this, it is unclear what the recommendations may have been at that particular dispensary and if it may have been in keeping with the other results. This study also has many strengths. Firstly, we collected data from dispensaries nationwide, giving a comprehensive look at variations across provinces and territories. Additionally, while previous studies have analyzed the recommendations for pregnant individuals, this is the first study to assess dispensary counseling around lactation, an area where safety information still requires significant investigation. In summary, a large majority of employees working for cannabis dispensaries in Canada recommended against a cannabis product while breastfeeding. However, there were still 20.6% of cannabis dispensary employees that did recommend cannabis products to lactating individuals. Recommendations focus largely on CBD products, but the safety of this is not currently known. This study suggests that having a standardized national program with specific sessions on cannabis use and breastfeeding may be useful for employees working at dispensaries. This may also ensure there is consistency in the advice provided across Canada. Furthermore, healthcare providers should continue to ask early on regarding cannabis use in pregnancy and discuss possible perceptions that lactating mothers may have regarding both THC and CBD products. Further studies assessing employees' perceptions of training and as well as gaps in education should be assessed to optimize the impact of public health recommendations for cannabis and breastfeeding. Here is our appendix number one, which is our phone script that you can all read through at your own time. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. I would kindly ask you to direct any questions to the email provided below.